Today, we're diving deep into a feature that can significantly boost your conversion rates, the one-click checkout. In this video, we're going to walk you through the entire process of setting up a seamless one-click checkout in WordPress. This is going to make it easier than ever before for your customers to make a purchase on your website. Now, there are a couple different ways to create this one-click checkout in WordPress, but today we're going to show you the fastest and cheapest way to do it. So stick around to the end of the video because you're not going to want to miss out on how to do this for free. Also, towards the end of the video, if you don't already have a hosting plan, we're going to show you one of our favorite options to set up your hosting service with. Without further ado, let's get right into it. The first way we're going to show you how to set up your one-click checkout is with WP Forms. WP Forms allows you to build a bunch of different forms without any code. It's a popular drag and drop plugin that a lot of people use on their WordPress. You're probably using it, or at least you've heard of it. It's amazing because there's over 1700 templates to choose from, and you can practically find any form that you need, or you can build them from scratch. So there is a paid version of WP Forms, but the good thing is with the light version that we're going to show you today, it allows you to connect it with a Stripe account. Obviously, if you want more advanced features, you're going to need to upgrade to the pro version, but the light version will do plenty fine for today. So let's go ahead and log into our WordPress account here, and let's go down all the way to the bottom to plugins. Now, if you don't already have WP Forms installed, go ahead and click add new plugin here at the top, and then you're just going to want to go ahead and search for WP Forms. And then you're going to see right here on the left-hand side, this is it. I already have it downloaded, but I'm just going to update it now. And if you don't already have it downloaded, go ahead and update it, and then we'll go ahead and make it active in a second here on the plugins page. Okay, once you've done that and you are on the plugins page now for WP Forms, you should see it here. And then if it's not active for you, go ahead and click on it here and then go to activate and then press apply. Once we've done that, we can see that it has a tab here on the left-hand side in our column and we'll just go ahead and click on the WP Forms tab. Now it'll bring us here and show us a little bit of the homepage. But what we're going to want to do next actually is to go down here on the bottom left-hand corner and go to payments. The payments tab should just pop up underneath the WP Forms and then we can go ahead and get started here with our Stripe account. So once you've clicked get started, we're going to want to connect with Stripe here. Now, if you don't have a Stripe account, this is where you can go ahead and create your account. So let's go ahead and enter our email here now. And once we've done that, I don't have a Stripe account yet. So we're creating one here. Once we've verified our phone number, then we're just going to go ahead and enter our password here. Once you're finished with that, go ahead and click submit. Next, it'll just ask us a couple questions about our business. So let's just say we're in the United States and we're an individual. Then let's go ahead and put in some of our personal details here. Once we've done that, we can go ahead and click continue here. Next, you're going to have to verify your identification. I'm just going to go ahead and skip this for now, but you should go ahead and verify with your photo ID. Next, you have to choose the business industry that you're in. So we'll go ahead and do this here. And once you've filled out your website information and your product description here, we can go ahead and click continue. Next, we're going to select an account for our payouts. I'm just going to go ahead and choose my bank here. And then we're going to go ahead and connect our account here. And you can see that it's a success and we can just go ahead and click continue. Next, you can go ahead and put in some information that's going to show up when your customers purchase something from you. Then you can go ahead and put in your phone number. And then if you want to show it on your receipts and invoices, and once you're finished with that, you can go ahead and click continue. And then they also have a climate commitment here that you can choose to participate in. And then once you're finished with that, you can go ahead and just review all of the information here. Okay, and once you've done all that, then you can go to the bottom here and click agree and submit. You will need to verify your identity before clicking submit. It'll ask you to submit a picture of your driver's license, and then it'll take a picture of your face through your webcam. But once you've done that, you're all ready to go. So let's go ahead and click agree and submit. So now let's go back into our WordPress dashboard. If we go back here and we go down to settings under WP forms, if we go over to payment, we can see that our Stripe account is connected. Now we can start accepting payments on our website and we are ready to create our form. So let's go ahead and go to WP Forms again and click add new. Now you can choose from over 1800 templates, but what we're going to want to do is go to search templates here and type in Stripe payment. Then it'll give us this Stripe payment form and we can go ahead and use this template. Okay, now it'll take us to this form and you'll see all of these drag and drop options. If you want different field options, you can go here on the top right hand corner. So let's go ahead and start by changing this Stripe payment form to one click check. So we'll go ahead and go to the settings here and then we can change it in the form name. Okay, great. Now that we've done that, we can go back to fields here. And if you go under field options and then general here is where we can change all of the different field options that we have here, like name, email, and anything else that you want to include. So you can go ahead and add different fields here and play around with it to make sure it's exactly to your liking. We won't go into too much more depth here about creating the form, but just know that the Stripe credit card option is auto populated. So you're going to be good there. Now we have to go to our Stripe account and activate one click payment options. So go ahead and log into your your Stripe account online. And let's go up in the right hand corner to settings and then payments. And once we've done that, let's go to payment methods. And the next thing that you're going to want to do here is go to the right hand side here and click on the three dots and go to manage configuration. And the next thing that you're going to want to do is to click down on the default menu here and go to the WP forms section. Once you click on the default there, then everything should be good to go. If you scroll down, you'll see all of the methods that are turned on for your payment options. So currently you'll see that credit cards are turned on as well as Apple pay and Google pay and link as well. You want to make sure that link is 
is turned on, this is going to be very important. So once we've checked Stripe to make sure everything is connected correctly, let's go back to WordPress to create our form. Now that we're back on WP Forms on WordPress, let's go here to Payments, and then we're going to go up to the top left-hand corner here and go to Stripe. Now we want to make sure that Enable One-Time Payments is turned on. Once you've done that, go ahead and click Save, and then we can click Embedded. And a message should pop up where it says Embedded in a Page, and we can select the existing page. Then we can go ahead and select the page on our website that we want it on. And once you've done that, you can go ahead and click Let's Go. The form is not going to automatically populate. You're going to have to do a little bit more work here. So let's go ahead and go to Add Block here in the top left-hand corner. It's the plus sign. Once we've done that, let's go ahead and type in WP Form. So once we've clicked on that, we can go ahead and drag it over here and we can drop it. Let's go ahead and select our form and go to One Click Checkout. And now that we've done that, you can see that our form auto populates here. And if we want to update, let's go ahead and update the page and see it live. Now the page is updated. Let's go ahead and view it. And boom, for me, it messed up the formatting a little bit on my page. I can go back and fix that a little later. But for yours, it'll look a lot cleaner than this. And it'll be a nice Stripe one-click checkout page. You also want to make sure to preview the checkout form to see if all the Stripe payments are going through your account. And once it's activated, it'll automatically pre-fill credit cards on Stripe, which is great. And that's how to set up your one-click checkout using WP Forms in WordPress for free. Now, if you're looking to get a hosting service and you don't have one already, or you're looking to switch your hosting service, we're going to walk you through one of our favorite hosting platforms here now. We'll show you how to set up your hosting plan and everything that you need to know. So go ahead and click on that link down below in the description and we'll show you how to get started today. One of our favorite hosting platforms is Hostinger. So if you've clicked on that link down below, it should bring you to a page that looks something like this. Now there's a bunch of reasons why we love Hostinger, mainly because they're a really affordable option with a very intuitive design and it's a great platform to use, especially if you're a beginner getting started with your website. For under $3 a month, you can have a website up and running in less than a few minutes. If you're on this page here, you'll see that Hostinger has 24 seven customer support, which is great. You get a free domain and free website migration with this plan. It's also under $2.99 per month, depending on the period that you choose, which we'll show you here in a second. And you get two months free. They also have a 30 day money back guarantee. So this is really at no risk to you to try out. So let's go ahead and get started now. Now there's a couple different plans here to choose from. There's the premium plan, the business plan, and the cloud startup plan. Let's just go ahead and go over some of the features between these different plans. Let's start with the premium plan. The premium plan allows for hundred websites, up to 25,000 monthly visits, hundred gigs of storage, a free email, weekly backups, unlimited bandwidth, and a free domain. If we scroll down to see all the other features here, there's other features that are included with WordPress as well as their Hostinger AI website builder. With the business plan, you're going to get a little bit more storage, 200 gigs here, a little bit more traffic, 100,000 visits monthly. You're going to have more features when it comes to WordPress and their Hostinger AI website builder. And a big thing about the business plan is that you get daily backups. Now you don't have to get this plan to get daily backups. You can actually add them on to the premium plan, but I highly recommend that you have daily backups on your site, which you can add on later to your premium plan. This has saved me so many times in the past where my website went down and I lost the information, but I was able to easily back it up with daily backups. If we go down to the technical details and service and support, you'll see that all three of these plans come with a 30 day money back guarantee. They have a 99% uptime guarantee, global data centers, and 24 seven customer support. The only thing you don't get with the two smaller plans is priority support, but their customer service team is amazing. So it's really not going to make a difference. Okay. So for most people starting out, the premium plan is going to be plenty fine for for what you need. So let's just go ahead and choose that plan now. Next, we have to choose the period that we're going to host. Now, the only one we don't recommend is the one month option because it's pretty expensive for that one month. If you lock in for at least 12 months, you get a much better rate. So let's go ahead and lock in for that 12 months and then let's go ahead and create our account here. Go ahead and enter your email address as well as a password. Once you scroll down a little bit further, let's go ahead and enter in our personal details here. And then you'll see that the plan discount is already 75% off, but we're going to want to click have a coupon code here. Do not forget this because this will get you an additional couple dollars off. So you're going to want to type in the code my first website here. And once you've done that, you'll see that for under $33, you can have a whole web hosting plan for one year with a free domain, which is really one of the best deals on the internet right now. After that, go ahead and enter your card information here. And once you're ready to pay, you can go ahead and click submit secure payment. And once again, just note that there's a 30 day money back guarantee. So this is really at no risk to you to try out. And I actually have gotten a refund before with one of my websites for hosting her. So if that is something you want to do, they do make it easy and accessible. Once you're finished, just go ahead and click submit secure payment and you're all ready to go. That's all we have for you for how to create a simple checkout page in WordPress. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more videos like this in the future, please leave us a like and subscribe down below. This channel is dedicated to providing you free resources to help you start and grow your first website. If you're looking to create your first website, but you still don't know where to get started, we actually created a free tool that we will leave linked down below in the description. So be sure to check that out if it's you. Thank you so much for watching. We wish you the best on your website building journey and we will see you in the next video.